I'm not bad, I just did my makeup that way. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know. We'll try that one more time. Hello, 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 it's Kine, and welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today's costume is the iconic, the legendary, fictional character Jessica Rabbit. If you're looking for a Halloween costume that's not so scary and just more on the glam side, this is a great look to do just as long as you have the right hair and the right clothes because Jessica has super recognizable features. I love how dramatic and over the top unrealistic her appearance is. Thanks to Tyra J. Wilson on Instagram for requesting that I do this look and let's get started. So Jessica Rabbit has that huge iconic bell shaped eyelid. So to allow us to draw our eyelid big like hers, we need to glue down flat and conceal the eyebrows so that we have more space to play. And this will also allow us to draw on new brows up high on the forehead. So glue down your brow hairs with glue stick. I've done it a thousand times. No, it won't rip out your hair. And just give it about five to 10 minutes to dry before covering it up with powder and base color. I'm using a Krylon TV paint stick and I'm adding some dimension to the face using some darker foundation along my perimeter. Cartoon characters, I usually just one flat color, but on people it just looks weird, unless you're actually trying to look like you're two-dimensional. Otherwise, go ahead and contour your face and nose until you look like you lost 20 pounds. Setting everything in place using powder, and then we're gonna go ahead and start making the big eyelids. I am using brown eyeshadow, Actually, I think I might have just used a bronzer or a Makeup Geek contouring powder just on a flat angle brush to create the preliminary shape just so I can get an idea of what I want the eyes to look like. And once I can tell how high the eye is going to be, I start to create my brow highlight just so that later on both brows will look symmetrical. And Jessica has kind of more of a rounded brow with a more continuous curve as opposed to a sharp arch like I'm used to. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing it. Um, next, I'm using a purple eyeshadow and I'm going over that initial eyelid line, smudging the brush towards the center of the lid so that the color fades inwards. And do this all along the sides of the eyelid and then place white in the center so that it's sandwiched between the purples. Oh my god, now I want a sandwich. Next, I'm taking black eyeshadow and doing the same thing I did with the purple. I'm probably just going to get a sandwich after this, huh? I've already decided I'm going to do it. As I was saying, I'm using my brush to flick it inwards again, just not as far as I did with the purple and I'm not putting as much. This way it just looks like the new eye socket we're creating is more defined and dark. We don't want it to look like we just painted on an eyelid, it should look like it's actually our eye, so it should have some dimension and depth. Anyway, next I'm taking a brown eyeshadow on a flat shadow brush and I'm kind of blending like the outer edge of the eyelid now. Just because I felt like the eye looked too cartoony and just like an upside down U, I wanted more dimension on the outer part of it as well and ensure all colors are softly blended and then move on to winged eyeliner. Once the eyeliner is on, I'm adding more black to the outer corner and dragging it up through the eye socket again to create more definition. Now I'm adding some white eyeliner to my inner lower waterline. Jessica Rabbit doesn't really have this to her makeup, but it's a little touch that I like to add just so that the eye isn't so top heavy. And I just counterbalance that with more dark shadows outlining it. For the brows, you're going to want to use a warm brown with red and orange tones to match our red hair. Doesn't need to be like a fire truck red, just a warm brown. I used Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. You could even use like a Makeup Geek Bitten. And like I said, the brows are not super dramatic, they're more soft and rounded but still thin. And next, I'm contouring the nose. Jessica has a teeny tiny nose which is upturned at the end, so we're adding some shadow right at the tip. At some angles, this looks like you could just have snorted some cocoa powder, but the point is that we're trying to make the nose look shorter and like it's pointing upwards at the tip. And then add shadow to the sides and highlight the bridge to make it look teeny tiny. I'm adding bronzer and blush to the face to make it look less dull and more dimensional. And then I'm adding powder right underneath the contour in a rounded shape to make the cheeks look rounder and fuller rather than sunken and hollow, which often happens if your contour hangs too low on the face. So Jessica Rabbit has naturally green eyes, but my green contacts were worn out and expired. I actually threw them out a while ago. So I had to settle for a Desio Eyes Innocent White, which is like an icy blue. Adding mascara and lashes here, but this is all stuff you've seen before. 
Anyways, for the lips, we're doing a timeless glossy retro red, but overlining them quite heavily. Jessica Rabbit's lips were so full, especially the bottom lip, that the bottom lip at some angles had little hills on it like the top lip does. I know it looks a little like a, just a weird butt at some angles, but as long as you do it subtly, it makes the bottom lip look so full and really rounds the lips out. I applied a NYX liquid suede to the outer perimeter in a darker red as you can see here, and then I went over the entire lip in an intense butter gloss in a brighter, more obnoxious red, which adds the shine and dimension, making the lips look even bigger by having that lighter red on the center and the deeper color on the outsides. You may be able to stop here, but since I'm a man with a flat chest and no breastplate, I had to make my own boobs with makeup and a little help from a bra filled with socks. I've never actually tried doing this before, at least not on camera, so I experimented a bit and I first started by trying creams for a softer look, but I found it made very little difference and after a few layers it just made my chest look dirty because the brown was just everywhere. I found that if I used powders it was more efficient, especially when I was using a large eyeshadow brush. Just contour where you imagine like the boob line would be and add highlight on the actual boob in the rest of the chest because otherwise the darkness of the contour color just takes over and makes your chest look just like a mess. I didn't have a long purple glove like Jessica so I had to improvise and I painted my entire arm with water paints which in theory you could have also painted the dress using paints but that's not really practical for going out unless you're really comfortable and confident with your body painting skills the hair i'm wearing today is a wig that i styled myself let me know by the way if you want to see like a teasing and styling tutorial for drag hair i've been looking everywhere for one because i'm still learning but there's not that many on youtube so i had to learn a lot from trial and error but rest assured once i get good at it I will do a video all about it after October, but let me know in the comments if you like this look, thumbs up and subscribe to see what else I have in store this Halloween season, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bitch, I look so fucking good! Oh, oh. Nip slip, can't let those happen now, can we?